scheduled for one fall is an eight-man tag team match. Introducing first, from Boston, Massachusetts, Eddie Edwards. It's been a long time since I've sat at the desk with the two of you. It's a great pleasure to do so. And I'm glad that he was finally found out regarding Honor No More. I know there was a lot of suspicion regarding my involvement. And I begged and pleaded it. Some folks just didn't want to listen, like Matt Taven. Well, you wouldn't hurt a fly. We know that. Thank you. And his partners, first, fighting out of Sin City, Nevada, filthy Tom Fuller! Now, Matt, you like to dance, you like to move around with the, the dulcet tones of Team Filthy. The first ever strong open weight champion looking for a victory here tonight. Big Next, time from up. Sacramento, California, the most feared, J.R. Kratos! A contender for the strong open white title in his own right, J.R. Kratos, a member of Team Filthy. He had been the iron muscle, really the undiscovered gem of New Japan Strong. He was a secret, but I don't know, Tom, how you can keep a man 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, 300 plus pounds of secret for long. It's going to be the interesting part of this matchup where no PCOs involved. Kratos, my first time getting to see him live. Very excited to see those bulls lock up if possible. And there he is, the Impact Digital Media champion, the inspirational one in the house, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, and I feel like I can't tell how he fits in on this team. It's going to be an interesting clash of personalities, clash of styles, but they better come together. Just like this entire world, this entire audience will come together. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. That's right. Tom Hope doesn't know how to raise his hands. As the inspirational Joe Hendry looks to lead his team to victory. You feel motivated, Riccoboni? Absolutely. I've known Joe for a long time. One of Scotland's greatest athletes. He Commonwealth Games representative. He's a power lifter, he's an amateur wrestler. Very creative with his songs. Proud to see his success, but uh, he's a little bit different than the man I once knew. I think, I think the pandemic changed him. The multiverse is united. Because it doesn't matter which galaxy which solar system, which planet, or even which country. Whether you're here for an extraterrestrial event or Pendry Media, it doesn't matter because we all speak the same language when we say the words we believe. And what they believe in is the team of Eddie Edwards, Tom Lawler, Kratos, and Joe Hendry. A lot of confidence on that side of the ring heading into this one. Are. Did it get cold? It always does. And their opponents, introducing first, from Dayton, Ohio, the draw, Sammy Callahan! Callahan was dangerous before all of that. Fearless. He and Eddie Edwards have known each other for quite some time. And I saw the look. Eddie staring a hole through Callahan. And his partners, first from Union, New Jersey, Mr. No Days Off, Fred I got the chance to speak to earlier today. Some of you've got a lot of history. Oh, 
Somebody was very, very motivated to get a victory here tonight. Unfinished business for the Team Philly. Absolutely. Voted match of the year two years in a row by the fans of New Japan Strong. Fred Rosser, Tom Lawler. Fred Rosser dethroned Tom Lawler in Philadelphia. They're one of the most inspirational moments we've seen on New Japan Strong. Quite a team they put together as we await the third member of this squad. Next, from Long Island, New York, the Android, Alex Coglin! The Android himself, Alex Coglin, former Young Lion. And we want to talk about pure, unadulterated strength. We've seen him and J.R. Kratos go at it time and time again, and we might redo that here tonight. The French Canadian Frankenstein, P. C. O. Talk about him getting a, a little colder in here. Ian. Oh, and he ruined this man's destiny. Gets quite a chilly. Well, we talked moments ago about how uh, Callahan and Eddie Edwards are staring each other down. Look at Eddie Edwards. Third off as PCO makes his way inside the ring. Twice PCO has attempted to leave PCO for dead in the deserts of Las Vegas. Eddie Edwards and PCO in a lot, a lot of unfinished business going on right now. And, and from the looks of it, the way things are setting up here, it, it, we might start things off with Eddie Edwards and PCO. Callahan, Callahan wants a little bit of Eddie Edwards first, it appears. Let's not forget, Callahan and Eddie Edwards have a very sordid history, both on the same side of the ring and the opposite. Ooh. And once upon a time, a baseball bat right to the eye of oh. Edwards, really ended his career, and now Callahan and Edwards going at it. And Callahan ducks the clothesline, and he's looking oh. to inflict punishment on Edwards here. Immediately, oh, you see, there it is. Callahan pointing right at the monster, the freak, PCO. And a tag made as Edwards fails to the corner. And, and this, this is a bit of a dream match for me, Tom. Tom Lawler and PCO. Never thought I'd see these two in the same ring. I, I think also interesting, Edwards is happy to get in the ring there with Callahan. Oh! Got away from PCO, which is fascinating. But now look at this, Rosser and Lawler. Two longtime rivals, Matt and I called the historic championship victory in Philadelphia where Rosser finally dethroned Tom Lawler after about 18 months of chasing him. Oh, getting through buckets of blood. Fred Rosser climbed the mountain to the Strong Openweight Championship. Becoming only the second in the history. And now an old rivalry renewed here in Los Angeles. Going for the sleeper here, but Rosser. Oh, oh goodness! Dumping Waller, landing on his feet. And look at that, Rosser immediately getting back into the ring, taking the ring instead of fighting, doesn't want to brawl on the outside, wants to get it done the right way. Very, very smart by Fred Rosser. He's completely revolutionized his game. You and I have known Rosser for a, for a number of years now. Former tag team champion and captured the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. It was a milestone moment in his career as though he had completed that revolution. But yeah, we know that that genesis continues. It certainly does, and he has not stopped working. He does not take a day off, as we well know. And he's in there with a guy who's going to test him. And Hendry, one of the few athletes on either roster that can match strength with Rosser. 252 pounds of pure motivation, baby. Yes, it's the accent. I'll leave that on you. I, I ain't getting in trouble here tonight. Yeah, I might end no, up. No, no. It's not like I'm. So I married an axe murderer. I did that. Hold on. I'm, yeah, no kidding. Oh, oh, right oh. now. Rosser. Oh. Tenderizing Joe Hendry. And Rosser in the corner makes a quick tag. Another powerhouse, Alex Coglin, the android. That's right, the strength. This is the first guy I wrestled in New Japan Pro Wrestling 
when I came to visit Strong, and I was absolutely Ooh. wowed by his strength. Oh, look at this. Some feats of strength here between Back Conklin and, forth. and Hendry. Oh! Wow. I cannot tell you, I cannot overstate how exhausting it is just to lift another man into a suplex like that, let alone repeatedly. And Hendry, the power just to toss Coglin. Calls that the trust fall. Coglin, just like that, dropped flat on the mat. And now, in enemy territory. Oh, and here comes Coglin's longtime rival, J.R. Kratos. Yeah, all these old rivalries renewed here. Lots of old wounds reopen. And for oh, wow, and these open hands. It was Coglin who defeated Kratos to graduate from the LA Dojo in the Alex Coglin Challenge Series. But that continuing as recently as, as Battle of the Valley, we were there for yet another singles match between these two. Look at those. A lot of, a lot of hard feelings left between Coglin and Kratos. And Kratos! Oh, well, look out, though. Look at this power from Coglin. You gotta be kidding. Just heaving a 300 plus pound giant over his head. Oh, and look at this. Kratos oh. was staring at him, and now PCO's in the ring. Into the corner, Kratos. A match I've wanted to see for a long time between these two behemoths. PCO can withstand almost any punishment. Yeah, he's right back to his feet. He's delivering shots of his own now. Now, most of the punishment PCO delivers is often to himself. Right. Inflicts it, uses his own body as a weapon to get the job done. Oh, this is getting dangerous. PCO all the way up top. Oh! A hellacious amount of oh, humanity. And now Edward takes the opportunity with PCO's back to him. Oh, and everything's breaking down. Eight men in the ring. Callahan with Tom Lawler. Ross are getting his shots in. PCO and Edwards, and in the ring it's Callahan and Lawler. This one broke down quick. Luckily we're back down to two as Callahan and Lawler take the center of the ring. I don't envy referee Frank Gastineau here. Callahan, would you say he looks free without the design? I, I was just about to say, I'm wondering if we'll see him maybe uh, have to pay for some of this come impact on Axis TV, but right now, Callahan's getting a little chance to, to spread his old wings. Tom Lawler. Oh, PK. And Rosser. Oh, uh -oh. seen this before. Oh! oh! That's right out of the Rosser playbook, Matt. That's right, the belly to back and the apron. Now look, Coglin taking to the air here. And he delivers on Hendry and Lawler. And we are back to PCO and Edwards. PCO finally getting a hold of his old honor no more mate. Tosses him outside. Uh, I said it was close quarters, right? Well, the front row is about to get very intimate with. Oh! oh! Drilled by Kratos. What a counter attack, but look out, Kratos. Matt, the Kratos is. Tom Kratos is sizing up no way. everyone There's on the outside. No Over oh 300 God. pounds! Oh, God! Oh, God, again! PCO, he lives. Oh, the French Canadian Frankenstein. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God! Oh, dear God. Almost hit the balcony on that moonsault. How do you take seven other world-class athletes off their feet? I don't know. You become PCO and moonsault off the top rope. That's the only way to do it. Oh, and Eddie Edwards at every turn when PCO's back is turned. Ooh. And connecting on the jaw with that big knee. The athleticism of Kratos on display as well as he looks to bring the monster off the top. Superplex plants PCO. Superplex plus, given the size of these two men. 
roughly 600 pounds crash into the canvas, and Alfredo sees an opportunity here to back PCO into his team's corner with Hendry and Edwards stirring. Tag me. Back to take advantage fast. PCO does not stay vulnerable for long. And both line sends Hendry down. PCO trying to find his bearings here. We know he's prone to malfunction. Short circuit glitch out, you never know. Tag made. Gets that tag to Mr. No Days Off. Whoa! Oh! Rosser just running through the chop of Eddie Edwards there and takes control of this one very quickly. We talked about those 600 pound squats Rosser does. All that impact driving through. What I, what I respect about Rosser is, you know, again, he, he's a good guy, but he's not a good guy. He's not afraid to get down and dirty, not afraid to get nasty. And the hip attack! I, Matt, you nailed it. That's why the, the New Japan Strong fans have, have a door friend, Rosser. Northern Lights, two! Rosser is not afraid to stay on you either, Tom. He'll, he'll look for a submission, he'll look for a referee stoppage, whatever it takes, the chicken wing locked in. By Fred Rosser. Oh, I think hit with a knee there by Lawler from out of nowhere. Rosser was focused on Edwards. Lawler saving it for his team. Coglin trying to make the save. Eats a little double team for his trouble, but oh, turns it around. Oh, and he's got, oh my God! Coglin plants Lawler and Edwards. The bridge up, not to be confused with a nip up. Hendry has Rosser and Coglin. Oh what the hell? Fall away slam, and there's the kip up. Oh, Callahan shot to the midsection from Hendry. Oh, oh, what? I think Callahan went what? to the. Uh, but low, the official doesn't see it. That is not inspiring. It's terrifying. It's been a while since we've seen that, Tom. Oh, and a pile driver. Tom Lawler, ever the opportunist. There's the knee, Rosser in with Lawler now. Oh! There's the gut buster. Blue Thunder from Eddie Edwards. Back and forth. And tag made the legal man now, J.R. Kratos, who has no love lost with Fred Rosser, either challenged unsuccessfully for the strong openweight title. Keep an eye on this one all the way from the floor. Oh! The strength of Kratos. And PCO just watching. Like a gargoyle on the outside. And Rosser makes a tag. And now the moment is here for the French Canadian Frankenstein. He's egging on Kratos, <coughs> wanting him to strike. <coughs> Back to his feet, though, as Kratos. Kratos looking to take off here. Eyes on PCO up, nobody home. Oh. Front face lock from PCO. Kratos trying to oh. fight out of it. Instead, inverted DDT. Callahan held a PCO to go up top. And now, see if history will repeat itself here. One more time. It's the PCO salt. Did he get all of it? Yes! Here are your winners, the team of Sandy Callahan, Fred Rosser, Alex Coughlin, and P.C.O. I'm able to see you. You're a display here by all eight this match. A variety of athletes, but it was P.C.O. who came through with the P.C.O. salt. Tremendous effort, but there's just a little bit more continuity, which is amazing to see.
say when you have a Android, a Frankenstein, a, a guy that takes no days off. Incredible. Yeah. Multiverse, eight men, tag team. Haggy, Haggy, Haggy. You know, the winner was PCO because he's not human. He's not. Human! <laughs> he was dead. <laughs> he was dead. <laughs> but it's alive! It's alive! And it's not human! PCO number one! Number one! New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to Las Vegas, Nevada. Saturday, October 28th, it is Fighting Spirit Unleashed in Sam's Town Live. Witness, Sanada, Tetsuya Naito, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Eddie Kingston, Julia, Shingo Takagi, Tama Tonga, and the stars of CMLL. Tickets are available right now at Ticketmaster.com. World-class junior wrestlers coming to the 2300 Arena. August 19th for the All-Star Junior Festival, USA. And on August 20th, New Japan Pro Wrestling teams up with Impact Wrestling for Multiverse United 2. See the stars of Impact and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Tickets on sale now. NJPW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce. Where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Yeah. 
tonight. Minoru Suzuki, Hank Grace celebrating their 30th anniversary. Well, you're looking at one of the innovators of mixed martial arts, Tom. Minoru Suzuki. One item that has eluded him, though, is the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. He would like nothing more than to be the face of an American brand, of the American offshoot of New Japan. Tonight, he gets his first opportunity. maybe more, who knows, but there's a lot more similarities between them. They're both very bad men. They're both very legitimate. They're both incredible strikers, but they both do this kind of stuff all the time. They like to toy with their opponents any chance they get, get in the head of the other wrestler. You know, I see this as an advantage right now because it's usually Suzuki laughing. It's usually Suzuki smirking. And, and right now, he's under the skin of Minoru Suzuki. That's what I'm saying. This is more like the Suzuki tactic. It's the same thing that Kenta does. And now it's working on Minoru Suzuki. These two might as well be mirror images of each other on so many different platforms. Oh, now, now feigning like he's stretching. I, yeah, I, I buy that. It takes a lot to get under the skin of a legend like Suzuki. And think about the historic rivalry with Ken Shamrock it, that Suzuki has had. It, he wasn't under skin. There was respect. There was just brutality, yes, but respect. I mean, Suzuki, Suzuki going right after the leg and uh, the posterior at the same time. Hey, I'll help you stretch there, Kent. Is basically what Suzuki's saying is, oh, look at the lock. Whoa! Oh, Triangle choke here with an assist from the top. And the headstand out of it from Suzuki. Neck strength still holding up for Suzuki here. Out of the soul the crowd here. Oh. Fans standing. Oh 
night long. As we are into our title match here, the strong overweight championship. Forearms delivered across the jaw. And yeah, you have to be, this, this is a sold out show, standing room only, and you're gonna want to be a part of that crowd to see all of these incredible oh, matches. and look at this, Suzuki was driving Kenta into the barricade, which collapsed a bit. Exploring the space here at the globe. Oh, yeah. It is a great venue. Oh. And this is where I expected the match to go. I anticipated Kenta might try and use the post. I thought maybe on the inside, maybe the turnbuckles, maybe something a little nefarious, unhooking the turnbuckles, perhaps. Because I don't, I don't know that he may, don't know he can compete on the mat quite yet with Suzuki. I think Suzuki still has the advantage. But if he can strike on the outside and use the environment, Tom, like you mentioned, I think Kenta has a shot to retain here. Look at the face of Suzuki. Ooh, it's standing all of it. Defiant in the face of the strong open weight champion. Kenta and Suzuki just laying into each other outside and to the eyes now. Kenta to the eyes of Suzuki. And a lot of this, like Tom, you said, and it, it's the Kenta we've come to know over the years, but it's been amplified by the influence of the Bullet Club, you have to imagine a lot as well. Just Kenta having free reign of that side of his personality to, to use it at will. And delivering shots across the chest here. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's disrespect in any language. Dangerous physical way possible. Oh! Oh! And Suzuki unloading with the open hands and back to the eyes of Kenta. And like most major championships, the title will not change hands under this qualification. Desperate man or sound strategy? I guess the better question is what's the difference? Kenta trying to make Suzuki uh, emotional. Cover? And at the same time, continues to go for the eyes on the table of the site. So, there's a couple of different rules for the left hand here. Goya! Goya! Cuts across the spine of Suzuki. And again, just paint brushing Suzuki here. Suzuki back to his feet. It's interesting, Tom, because normally you don't want to fight a multi front war, but. It seems to be working right now. He's getting in Suzuki's oh, head at the very least. Oh. It's something you always hear in sports. You make your opponent think and not react, so you give yourself a better chance, maybe. Oh, he has to. And he's got to be careful because, oh my goodness, oh. and in the corner. Really grinding into the eyes of Hunter Suzuki. He's having the time of his life out there right now. Kenta really just trying to more than just retain his championship. He's clearly trying to send a message to the legend of Camp Pro Wrestling. Snap. Elbow right to the heart. And again, a lot of press here cover too. Kenta is better than careful. You don't get nicknames like Murder Grandpa for no freaking reason. We have had a, clarity, have had a clarification. Chris Charlton checking in. He has reminded me that the strong overweight title does change hands on his He really has to work that delicate balance of how far he wants to go. Really counting on the referee's discretion. Right now it's been in his favor, but we've, we've seen, especially in baseball as of late, oh! one false move, the referee will toss you. Are you coming at the Phillies? Uh, certainly him. And those knees right to the skull of Suzuki. And Kent again. This is a sign. This is it's the agitation. It's just continuing to mess with Suzuki. Look at Suzuki. He's, he's plenty ticked off, obviously, but Kent feels in control. And you're giving him the thumbs up, Matt. No, I didn't. There's no evidence of that. Now he's trying to get 
toy with Suzuki here. I respect oh. the moxie of Kenta. Oh. It, 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 it takes a certain set of stones to stand up for Suzuki like this. Certainly does. I give him that. And Suzuki's asking for it. And that, that blistered chest with the blood vessels pop, absorbing each blow from Kenta. And with each kick, Suzuki rises further to his feet. Point of the elbow to the knee. Hyper extends with the left leg of Kenta. And now Suzuki's found an opening here. Just pummeling Kenta. This could be his chance to get some revenge, get some payback, and punish the strong openweight champion. And driving the heel of that boot against Kenta. Keep calling it Kenta. This amount of wind at this point. He's going to lose the match in control. Kenta right to the face there by Suzuki. Snapmare takedown. Suzuki's trying to set up Kenta. Oh! Hit after some of those kicks. And now. <laughs> and it's Suzuki turning the tables. He's a psych out action of his own. I mean, let's not say these guys are so much more similar than they are different, which often leads to the most and working on that right leg. And he's making that knee go left to right here. Making those lateral ligaments really work. Oh, goodness. He's got Kenta in the center of the ring. Now, crash talk as well in the middle of this leg lock. Almost a knee bar here. Look at Kenta trying to roll over on his belly so he can try to close it and break up the submission here. Finally does. Desperately needed to get out of that one. And yeah, Suzuki now controls the pace of this matchup. Yeah, they done there. Suzuki working on the ankle here. We, we saw against Clark Connors. Suzuki go for the ankle lock in the presence of longtime rival Ken Shamrock. Right? There's something similar on that on that left leg, that the covered leg of Kenta. It's also, it's, it's a little hard to, to hoist someone up and get to go to sleep if you got a bump leg to it. DD2 by Kenta. Excellent point. Kenta now going to the outside. Got some distance here, maybe a little room to breathe, get himself back together. He's going all the way up top now. Likes to hit that top rope lariat. Can he get it here? Gets oh. it! But drop Suzuki. Lateral press cover. Two. Kenta, milliseconds away from retaining there. You see the tempo. Now that Kenta's back to control the tempo, he's picked back up. He's not playing the mind games as much anymore. He knows how dangerous Suzuki could be. This is not as easy as he thought. Trying to wrench in that figure four. Suzuki oh, trying to go. untangle. It's and okay. Kenta yelling at Suzuki, give up. Give up. I, 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 I don't think we're going to get that. Not a Suzuki, though. Hey. Suzuki now, the one trying to get to the bottom rope to break it up. I think in pain now, Suzuki. Reaching out, looking for the bottom rope. Can he get there? Suzuki! Suzuki gets it. Breaks the whole referee. Forcing a break here. And, and that was just a tangled situation. Kenta was doing him any favors being locked in that hole either. That Race lock here. Suzuki back elbow. Swarm connects. Wow. That's a vertical base here. Both guys center of the ring. Tasting in his own blood. Rusty Jaw, Suzuki firing back. Back and forth, back and forth. Look at that Suzuki just egging him on. Wants everything, Kenta. Oh, oh, good oh. night.
night. And he Good may be night. out. He may be out. Suzuki, for the first time in this match, it feels like he's feels like he's saw again after all the psychological work attempts by Kenta earlier on. Charging in, big boot connects against the side of the skull. These strikes are working, Dom. They're finally making a dent. Skull to skull, there for a moment. Oh, right to the skull. I can't Wow, boot for boot here. Between two of the toughest men in New Japan Pro Wrestling, two of the toughest men in professional wrestling. Off the ropes with a bit of steam. Connects on Kenta. Kenta fires right back. It's Suzuki now caught by Kenta. Oh, two in a row. And it's Kenta in control. Suzuki doesn't stay off, off his feet for long. Kenta's got to keep his foot on the gas. Oh, get right to the face one more time. Kenta's not done. And right out of the Kenta playbook. That skull and drop kick downstairs. Sometimes you can know it's coming and there's nothing you can do about it. And Suzuki's in a bad way right now. Speaking of which, he would be setting up here for that big double stop. Oh my God! Got absolutely all of it. Hooks the leg. Two. Oh. What? Suzuki is still alive here at Multiverse United. And you know what comes next? It'll be nap time. Gonna turn the lights out. Suzuki fights his way out of it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sleeper! And he's looking to turn out the lights. Oh, God. he's got that locked in. And it looks like he does that hand to bicep grip. And look at that. You can barely see, but the eyes here of Kenta shot. Quickly faded here, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the arm. Look at the arm. Have to swing the hips up, reestablish the vertical base. Point of the elbow to the solar plexus. Suzuki falls in. Oh, oh, looking for it again. Catches the arm. He likes, oh, he got it again. That sleeper again. He has to go for that pile driver. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, come on. A low blow by Kenta, and he tosses the official down in the process. One, two. Oh, give me a rope. Three. Who is it? And still, the New Japan Strong. My hook or my crook still being champion is quite a good look. Well, sir, oh, thank you, Dr. Seuss. That was quite a way to retain the title, and I've come to expect nothing less from Kenta, who was really a champion for New Japan Strong by any means necessary, Tom. Well, and we saw the early goings of this match of Kenta trying to break Suzuki. And when he realized that wasn't going to work, he knew he had to get out of it in a different situation. I mean, I mean that's the MO for Kenta. As you see here, just following Suzuki around the side and a, and a pissed oh, off. Wait a minute, Oro Suzuki is not a good thing. And trying to get back into the ring, officials. Security trying to, to tear that chair away. Something tells me this business is far from finished. Suzuki being escorted as Kenta has his moment in the sun, retaining the New Japan Strong Open Weight Championship. Kenta, your win. Absolutely psychological warfare between the titans of New Japan Pro Wrestling. I mean, it, this wasn't far off from the way he and you and I saw Kenta win. The New Japan Strong Openweight Championship back in Battle in the Valley, you know, something uh, involving a little guy named Juice and a couple of rolls wow. and quarters to get the job done. That's how Bullet Club rolls. It certainly is. Bullet Club having a great night tonight, Tom. No I mean, kidding. Retaining the, the Impact Tag Team Championship, retaining the New Japan Strong Openweight title. The Bullet Club remains on top, not only in New Japan, but here in Impact as well. Did you see that? I won. I won this title. This is mine. This is my title. Let me tell you something. This crowd's so stupid. Idiot. You know, you know why? They don't know who the true legend is. It's me. It's me. They're so stupid.
that's why I hate Los Angeles, you know. Kenta, Kenta, Kenta. Oh, <laughs> Eddie. Hey, I gotta say, it's been good to see you, man. Since you came to Impact last year, it made me realize that it's been years since I've seen you. Years. And it's been years since we've wrestled. Now, the last time we wrestled, I was just a young when boy. You were kids. I was just a young boy in you Japan, huh? But things have changed. I've been a world heavyweight champion. You're in the Bullet Club now. You are the New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. So then I got thinking, what do you say we wrestle one more time? But this time it's different because again? this time, again, because this time it's different because I ain't, I'm not the young boy anymore. No. And this I'm time. Still my young boy. Oh yeah? Okay. And this time, you're the champion. So about this time, we wrestle for that title on your shoulder. What do you say, Sensei? This is what my What do you title. say? You want to do it? I'll take that from you. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>